How can we help you, sir? Sir, I come to your help because I am in terrible trouble here. Okay. I am the victim, yet I am treated as a criminal. What happened, sir? It's happened that my wife was boodled, or she said she was boodled, of a million peso jewelry. Okay. That's on second hand price. The new price would be three million. One to three million worth of jewelry. Yes. And whose jewelries are those? Mine. Fifty years of collection. Okay. That this cannot be replaced. These are antiques and, and they are unique pieces. Those are the ones in the picture? Much more than that. Okay. But I didn't have a picture of those that has been gone. Okay, what made you think or allege that she took your jewelry? Well, there was two keys to the property. Mm-hmm. They got to go through five locks. Okay. Every one of them was opened by a key. One set of key was with me in England, and the other set of key was with my yeah. wife. Eh? So, therefore, she is the responsible for it. When I went to the police, the police have issued a theft charge against her. Now, the court has thrown it out because it's a civil case, and I cannot afford half a million peso for a civil case to investigate, to get the truth out of what's, what exactly happened. Because she will not tell me the truth. I got four stories. First of all, she was her life was threatened. Second, it was hypnotized, which is totally untrue because you got to be want to be hypnotized. Third, it was conjugal property and then the boodle. You've been telling us since the beginning that your wife, so therefore you're married. Right? Yes, I am married, okay. legally. Legally, you're married. When you guys are married, other, whatever you own, she also owns. But sir, you said the court dismissed the case in her favor, right? In her favor because of the 332 law that is exactly. being applied here. Exactly. Which is outdated and God only knows how, how many years. Well, the law is the law. It might be harsh, but yeah. it's the law, sir. Yes, I I'm understand. I'm sorry to tell you, yeah, there's nothing we really we can do about that. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you did sign a prenuptial agreement before marrying her, then that would be a different thing. Like, list down all the uh, properties that, that you have and that you don't want to bring into the marriage, then, you know, after that's been authorized, then when this thing happens, you can, of course, you can file a case of qualified death against her. I just wanted to get the truth out of her. What happened? That's all I wanted to know. When I get four different series of answers, then I cannot judge which is the truth and which is not the truth. That's all I wanted is the truth. Sir, it's immaterial whether she'll sell the truth or not. The thing is, you filed the case against her in court and it was thrown away. And that's what's important. That's what counts. And she made me a criminal with the immigration to to deport me. Exactly. She did file a case against you with the immigration and... You were sent a letter by the immigration. It's an order for you to respond to yes. her complaint. Yes. This is a legal document. This is a legal process. Yes. Did you already send in your reply to this summon? I cannot because I paid 100,000 peso to a lawyer to act on my behalf to clear my name. Sir, if I were you, you have to reply to this summon, ASAP. This was issued on January 2nd, 2024. I didn't receive it until late February. Your wife filed a case with the immigration and trying to blacklist you. Yes. And if you're not going to act on this, it might lead you being deported. Yes, I understand that. As an undesirable alien. Correct. He will have to act on my behalf, yes. Right. So the counter affidavit yes. has been already sent to the immigration by your lawyer? I don't know. I don't think so. Because he's waiting for the, uh, the clearance from NBI. Miss Luz Biminda. Yes, po. Magandang hapon po. Andito po si uh, Mr. Kovacs. Magandang hapon. Yung husband niyo po. Yes, po, sir. Pinapadeport niyo na po siya at uh, meron nagreklamo na po kayo sa immigration. Ito ba? Hindi na pwedeng ayusin? Kaya niyo pa rin ba patawarin si Mr. o hindi na? Ako, sir. Kaya ko naman po siyang patawarin. Nung ginawa niyo na po sa akin, hindi, hindi ka po ako nag-ano sa kanya ng daddy po. Hmm. Okay. Dahil naiintindihan ko po yung... Okay. Feeling niya, kung po ako na biktima, ganun din po yung feeling. Feeling po, alam mo po sir, nung nakaraang gabi, nagpunta pa yan sa bahay at nagpaliguan ko, ko naman. Pinaliguan mo pa siya? She bait you. Pardon? She bait you. Bait, B-A-T-H. Beg. She, she bait you. Niliguan. <laughs> she showered you. With, not with love, with water. Yes. She does wash me, yes. She washed you, okay. Yes. 
Okay. Yes, she says she can take care of me, but exactly. But she won't. She won't stop the action with with the with the immigration. If I ask her if by any chance she can still forgive you, and she said yes, of course, there's still that possibility that she will forget all these things that happened, and you can move on and become husband and wife again, and forget about this complaint in the immigration. All That's you need to do is just talk to her. She's the, she's a nice wife. She's been promising this every single time that I can do it for you, but she will not do it. This but, is the problem. But she washed you, right? Yes, but and she, she, she might everything. wash me, but she won't stop the action. What kind of action is? Oh, the immigration. Immigration. She's willing to withdraw the case in the immigration. Willing, but not doing it. This is there's two things about it. I know. Willing and doing is two different things. All you need to do is you talk to her nicely. Don't raise your voice because we Filipino we hate people raising their voice. Well, I'm very sorry about Especially that. if that person yes. is the one coming to us because that For person help, needs yes. something. Yes, I'm that sorry. That person needs help. No, I, I, I don't sorry. care about. No, I don't care you raising your voice yes. here in front of me. I'm used to that. But what I'm trying to say is, uh, how about your wife? So all you need to do is talk to her nicely. Yes. And then tell her that I'm sorry that this thing happened and I don't want to leave you. I don't want to be deported because I don't want to be away from you. I love you. And give her a dozen of uh, roses and then bring her to the restaurant, eat. And then when you come back, she'll take a uh, bathe you and then you, you drink robust oh, and then you'll have yeah. sex. And then you'll be happy the next morning. Okay, thank you very much. Is, Will that, that, work? Your, is that your... Is that your advice, sir? Yeah, that, that's my advice. And then after that, <laughs> both of you go to the immigration and I'll say, hey, immigration, I would like to withdraw my case against my husband because I love her. Last night, we did have a, you know. Or oh, whatever, yes. What, we uh, did whatever. have a whatever. No, I'm called Kabayo Patay. Kabayo Patay. What, what does it mean? Does it, don't you know what the Patay means? Patay. Dead. Patay dead. is dead. Exactly. Yeah. Kabayo Patay. Oh! Oh, that's why you need to drink robust. Exactly. Oh, I'll give you robots. We have tons of bucks. I have, I have many, many robots over there. Oh. Yeah. You like? The caballo, I'll, I'll make it, I'll make it alive. <laughs> not, the, not even Viagra can make it alive, I'm sorry. <laughs> you sure? Positive. Tip. Try robots. Maybe robots is a lot better than Viagra. Is it? Robots okay. extreme. So anyway, uh, the horse the, the horse is patay. The horse is patay. <laughs> patay ang kabayo. Patay tayo dyan. Patay ang kaligahan ni Lolo. <laughs> Los Piminda, ma'am. Yes, po, sir. Yes, po. Okay. Well, maybe you want to talk to him and convince him to, to uh, settle this. I'm going to go with you. For, uh, for, for my side. Yes, ma'am. He's too much makulit, sir. He's too much makulit. <laughs> Several times, even the police, the police investigator will holding the case. Okay. Several times we talk to him, but we don't want to believe that I am victim of bullying, sir. I have trauma, sir. It's hard for me, sir. Very hard for me okay. to move on. I don't like happen to me that uh, budul budul, sir. I am a victim. We are both victims. She was scam. It wasn't. Yes, I. It know. wasn't. Like what you think, that she took your jewelry and then sold it or hide it somewhere yes. for her own sake. No, it wasn't like that. She was scammed. Here in the Philippines, it's rampant that people would knock on your door or call you on the phone and say, Hey, your relative is in the, is in the hospital and they need surgery. So whatever you can take their property, jewelry's money, send it to us because we need a payment for the emergency room bill. Etc. Yeah. That's probably what happened to her. That's what she's trying to say. Now, that's not important anymore. What's important to me is she's willing to forgive you. She's willing to withdraw her complaint in the immigration against you. Am I right, Mom? Mom Luz Viminda? Yeah, but I told him I will withdraw and lift the ban if he will change and don't make anything worse and worse, sir. I am okay. a victim. We are yes. both victims. We're both what victims. I want to understand. Okay, so, so Mom, Mom. What is it that she, he needs to do? He, he needs to change from him. What is it that you want him to change? What kind of change are you expecting from him? Don't embarrass me in front of the people. Okay. The community, you know, sir. I am very down. I am very down. My, my heart, my feelings now, my trauma. I have trauma and anxiety. 
I am too much down now, sir. You know what I what I want now? If he didn't stop it, I will complain again in Bausi. Or di- give a demand him. I am not victim. I am not telling story because he said I'm telling the story. I took the evidence from record section in Mandaluyong that car is using for bodol. Yes, And ma'am. there is some victims, two victims, they took 500,000 and one is 1 million. How could I do that story, sir? How could I do if I am a victim? Na, naintindihan ko po yan, ma'am. But, but anyway, regardless, ma'am, eh, nagpalabas na po ang korte ng desisyon at uh, uh, binasura po yung kasong ipinahan niyo sa inyo na qualified theft. So, doon po panalo kayo. Dahil nga po, sabi ko kanina sa kanya, kasal po kayo, so conjugal po yung lahat ng properties ninyo. Sir, Are you willing to change your attitude? Well, don't be maculit anymore. Maculit, you yeah. mean? She, what she calls me maculit. Yeah, maculit. You know what maculit is? I know. Can you can you do that? Well, I don't know. I'm too old to change. I too, I'm too old to learn the language. I'm too old to do. I have set my life on course. I never done any criminality. Sir, cameras. maybe the reason why you're so uptight because you need change oil. Yahoo! <laughs> We ne- you need that. When was the last time you had a change oil? No, the oil coming out. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, change oil? Yes. I am on prostate tablets, sir. Oh, okay. So, I, I am on the way down. Way down. I don't know if I can change oil. <laughs> okay. Well, of course, it's better if you can still manage I know how that. to change oil. But I can, oil I can help car. you. Get me a robust. Come on, fast. <laughs> Give me two boxes of robust right now. I'll give that. Just give it a try. When you go home, then your wife make kalabit kalabit. <laughs> you know what kalabit kalabit? So your wife said, So ma'am, so yung widow niyo na po yung kaso sa immigration para wag na po siyang ma-deport. Kawawa naman pag na-deport to, eh, matanda na. Sino mag-aalaga sa kanya pagdating niya dun sa... Alam mo po, sir. Bitin. Ayoko po talaga rin sa kanya yan. Kaya lang talagang na-provoke po ako. Hindi niya... Natutorture po yung utak ko na araw-araw na sabihan magnanakaw. Sir, natutorture ang utak ko. May trauma ako doon sa nambudong sa akin. Pati po sa kanya, magkakatrauma pa rin ako. Halos pera na binibigyan niyo sa akin. Halos ayaw kong tanggapin. At pinapiperma ko na siya dahil sa sobrang takot ko. Sir, sobrang Opo. kahiya na po ang inaabot ko. Ma'am, actually siya po napapaya dito. Hindi po kayo. Kung ako po tatanungin ninyo. Hindi po kayo napapaya. Kasi unang-una na-dismiss po yung kaso ang isinampan niya sa'yo. Ibig sabihin, nakita po ng korte na meron siyang kamalian dito at uh, hindi po in-honor pinakinggan yung kanyang hinayang. Uh, ma'am, curious lang po ako. Paano po kayo nabudol? Pwede ba pakikwento sa amin pa- para may mga matutunan yung mga netizens natin dito, mga nakikinit na nunod ngayon? Sir, pinapik po ako dito sa manggahan. Sa gentry po kasi nangyari yan. Okay. Na yung babae na nangyingi po ng tulong sa akin, nasabi yung asawa niya na sa hospital at meron daw po endoscopy sa chan. Hindi po ako makaanot Nung pangalawang tapik po, parang naging sunod-sunuran po ako sa kanya at meron po po ba na hindi ko po alam talaga nakasabot yun, sir. Mm-hmm. At nung time na yun, hindi ko rin po alam na nagbubudol na ako. Nang mm-hmm. sabi po nung lalaki na yun, yung engineer Marvin, nagsikilala ko na engineer Marvin, na willing daw po siyang tumulong at uh, yung babae nga ay takot na takot kasi raw walang aral, hindi alam kung anong kasikot-sikot ito sa kabiti. Ako naman po kasi, sir, hindi naman po masamang ugali ko. Nung time na yun, naging sunod-sunuran ako sa lahat ng sabihin nila. Nakapag-withdraw po sa ATM po ng 50,000 at nakita rin po sa CCTV, sa video, sa 7-11 yan, sir. Nakita po na mga polis, hawak po na mga polis yung video na yun. Kahit po yung sa sea oil na CCTV, hawak din po na mga polis, sir. Yun po ba, pwede ko po bang gawin istorya? Hanggang okay. makarating po kami sa bahay namin at doon na po nakuha yung mga alas. Naging sunod-sunuran po ako. Alam niyo po ba, pinalisa yes, Bodol mani at bodol na alahas. Nung nasa bahay po ako ng anak ko sa Sulana, nagulat po yung anak ko kasi wala yung wedding ring ko. Wala yung lahat po na po yung ring ko na galing ng Middle East. Ma- ma- maganda po yung sobrang mamahalin talaga dahil nagtamaho nga po ako sa ibang bansa. Okay. Nagulat so, yung anak ko, nakatulala po ako. At okay, ma- ma'am, ma'am, ako. ma'am. Naniniwala po ako kasi hindi po itong kauna-una ng pagkakataon na karinig kami ng ganong klaseng case ng bodol. Uh, yung ganong klaseng modus operandi sa bodol, I've heard that so many times already. So, sir, I believed her. She, she was a victim of scam. That's what we call it. Or budol, that's what we call it here. You're both victims, as what she's saying. It will be good for both of you if 
you'll just reconcile, talk it out, and calm down, and uh, kind of chill. Go to your wife tonight, have a nice dinner, um, candlelight dinner with her, talk it out, apologize. Like I said, drink uh, one tablet of Probost, and then have... And then when you wake up the following day, you and her will go to the immigration and she'll withdraw the case against you. Then everything's all right. This is the robust, sir. You see? The extreme one. This is uh, extreme. Extreme. Yes. Oh. This is... Uh, this is... Uh, whoa, yes, whoa. yes, yes. The dead will wake up. Yes. So the dead caballo will rise again. Yes. Here, I'll give it to you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Ma, binigyan ko siya ng robust. <laughs> pag niya dyan, mag-sorry siya sa'yo, mag-dinner kayo, magpapakabait na siya. Samahan mo siya sa immigration at doon, i-withdo mo yung kaso mo. Tama, ma'am? Di po ba? Ayan po, napakakulit. Yan, nilis na bihang ko na po. Ako lang nakakapag-lip ng bay niya. Pero napakakulit po yan. Hindi po yung nakikinig sa akin. Mas pinakikinggan niya po yung ibang tao, sir. Ah, yun ang problema. Mas pinakikinig po sa ibang tao. Yun yung ayaw ko sa kanya. Sabi ko, Our problem, we need to settle them, you sit down, not you run away and abandon me in the house. Exactly. I understand, ma'am. I believe you. So, sir, you see? Your wife is nice. She's a very nice wife. She's a very nice... Yeah, I know. I hit the jackpot lady. when I married her. Exactly. I know. Even up to now. I, 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 I admit that. I, But, I, sir, that's I hit one the jackpot. little mistake. She's just human and things like this could happen to anybody. So, you should consider that and tell her, oh, that's just money. It's not money. It's it's a lifetime's work. Exactly. It's a lifetime's It's a lifetime's collection. Which work. one is more important to you? The the jewelry or your wife that you married for six years? I'm not answering that. The jewelry is worth one million. Yeah, I'm not answering that question. You're not Because, answering that question? No. Because sir. if you're not answering that question, then the immigration is waving at you. Deportation is waving at you. So be it. So be it. I'm I'm done. Thank you very much for your time. You sure, sir? I'm positive. Oh, I'm hurt. This should not happen in a modern country. Thieves get away with scot free, without police investigation. There is no investigation into it whatsoever. Well, the court already came up with a resolution. Yes, but in England, and it's we, been the police dismissed. investigate first and then put it to the court. Well, I don't the know what what around. kind of investigation yeah. the court yeah. did. Yeah, But the thing is, the court found that the case you filed against her doesn't have the probable cause, as we call it, for it to go up to the judge. At the uh, prosecutor level, it was already thrown out. Yes. And that's our law here. That is my disappointment. Of course. Well, That then, is very big disappointment. I know. Well, I know. I, 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 can, I could respect that, you being disappointed of our law, but it's our law. Darling. Darling. Last night, you are in our house, and you said you need the bath, and I gave you a bath. Then I am very surprised now you came there. I told you, our problem is very confidential. We need to sit down, you sit down, not you run away and abandon me in the house. You hurt me a lot. You hurt me a lot several times, but because I have respect with you, I keep thinking about you, you, nobody will taking care of you. You provoke me. Ano pong status sa kaso nitong si uh, Mr. Kovacs na isinampa po dyan sa immigration ni Mrs. Kovacs? Ang uh, ongoing po ito, na pinarisim po sa kanya yung deportation order, but basically, We need to have the side ng, ano, ng subject, Mr. Kovacs, para i-ano din niya, i-sabihin din niya kung uh, ano yung side niya. Yes, Part sir. po ng procedure yan ng immigration. Yes, sir. Once may timeline po kasi ito, dapat po makumply po niya ang sinasabi niya mga last uh, week ng February na receive niya. Baka umabot na po ito ng binigay na taning na within 10 days. Ah, Pag-proproceed po yan na na deportation but basically po sa deportation order naman po uh, separate po yan kung mayroon pang existing kaso para parang nakita ko mayroon sa sa doon sa uh, social welfare ata na pinayo din si Mrs. Kobak uh, but basically po on the part sa immigration magpropose po yung deportation case natin na pinayo sa kanya and Mr. Kobak should be able to submit yung counter affidavit po. So, sir, siguro papuntayin ko na lang dyan si Mr. Kovacs and uh, dyan na lang po siguro siya kunan nyo ng salaysay doon sa kanyang side para hindi siya makagastos. How's that? Sige, sir, mag-extend po tayo ng ano kasi kailangan din, siyempre, dapat written din yan, not right. But basically, we'll extend kung ano man yung itutulog natin 
para at least uh, may, may makapag-comply sa sa required okay. period pero, na pero, nasa ipipo opo, natin. Pero natin. ang shortcut yes, talaga sir. dito, di ba sir, eh, pag winidro ni Mrs. Kovacs yung reklamo, tapos na ang problema? Uh, Tutu po yan, Senator. Basically, yan po ang ugat bakit nagkaroon ng deportation order dahil may complaint. Pero kung i-withdraw po formally, oh, wala na po, wala na tayong basis. But yan po ang mag mangyayari. Mr. Kovacs, your status here in the Philippines, you were married to Mrs. Kovacs, and that's the reason you were given a permanent visa. Yes. Or resident visa. Because it was anchored to your wife's yes. marriage. Yes. So therefore, your wife has the right to file a case in the immigration against you under the uh, undesirability doctrine. And because of that, most likely, the immigration will side on your wife and you'll be... Again, I'm sorry to say that. So if I were you, this is the shortcut. Go home tonight to your wife, get her to bathe you, have a dinner, talk it out. Use I don't the, think that would work tonight you, because she is very, very upset. No, she's not. Ma'am, pag nagbago siya, okay ka na, di ba? Sa akin po, sir, talang hinihintay ko po na magbago yan. Are you willing to uh, talk to your wife? Yes, and change, I am willing. And yes. change your yes. attitude yes. towards her? Okay, ma'am. Sige, samahan po namin dyan para mag-usap na po kayo. Sir, case solved. Thank you. Okay. And thank you for, for your time. Oh, thank you. I, I Th thank much you for appreciate your, it. Thank you for your trust. Thank you very much. Yes.